As the president was ensconced in the White House on Saturday monitoring this crisis, right outside and across the country, protest marches. Celebrities, politicians joining the many women's marches. ABC's Eva Pilgrim joins us in studio. Eva, what did you see at the march here in New York? Well, there were a lot of people here in New York, and this isn't just a New York thing or a U.S. thing. There were over 250 marches expected this weekend. Organizers dubbing it hashtag Weekend of Women. Across the country, huge crowds, hundreds of thousands packing in, calling for change. From Philadelphia to San Francisco, Dallas to Toronto, almost 200,000 people in New York alone. Stretching for as far as the eye can see, people lined up to march for blocks here in New York City. This year's march falling on the one year anniversary of President Trump's inauguration. The president tweeting about his success. Celebrate the historic milestones and unprecedented economic success and wealth creation that has taken place. Yeah, just marching for his future, really. Some protesting the president's policies. Pro Trump, pro Others joining the growing Me Too movement and Time's Up campaign as more women come forward, breaking their silence on sexual harassment and assault. In L.A., celebrities turning out in force. Natalie Portman opening up about her own experience at just 13 years old. From small comments about my body to more threatening, deliberate statements served to control my behavior through an environment of sexual terrorism. And Scarlett Johansson taking aim at actor James Franco, who recently denied allegations of sexual misconduct. Franco wearing a Time's Up pin at the Golden Globes. How could a person publicly stand by an organization that helps to provide support for victims of sexual assault while privately preying on people who have no power? I want my pin back, by the way. <laughs> Viola Davis calling for all Americans to stand up for each other. Your job as an American citizen is not just to fight for your rights. It's to fight for the right of every individual. And more marches are planned for today, including a power to the polls march. That's going to happen in Las Vegas. But you did see some Trump supporters There out were there. a handful yep. of Trump supporters. So a lot of the people who were here were marching as part of that Me Too movement, that campaign that has started with women. Those two things don't exist opposite of each other not all the time. Not yes. yes. Thank you right. so much, Thank Eva. You. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.